often on the farm we're pulling a lot of trailers either for some type of cargo or animals and so you, it's important to have the electrical working well for your safety for the safety of others today I want to show you how to change the electrical plug on the back of your truck mine has been cracked and not working the best all the time so I'm I'm gonna swap it out show you how I do it and uh, maybe it'll help you with some wiring on, on your own truck. So over the last few weeks, as I've been pulling trailers, I've noticed at times the connection to the trailer has not been good, and that this plug, as you can see, was kind of loose, and so today when I grabbed it and pulled on it, it just comes right off the truck. That is not how it should be. And now I'm going to work at actually disconnecting the plug from the wires that go to the truck. So there's a couple different things we're gonna take loose. We've got a Phillips screw head here and one on this side that holds our piece that I'll show you in just a moment inside. Then there's also another screw back here that has been holding the, the cables so that if there is kind of a pull on it, the, uh, the cables are held tightly so they don't come disconnected as easily and um, that also does kind of seal it up a little bit better for the water and the crud and the junk. So I have those screws out. I just loosen off the back screw here. And so now we should be able to start sliding these cables through and pushing this inner piece out. I'm gonna try just gripping it with some pliers and see if we can pull this inside piece out. <clears throat> There's all this white on the plastic. That was probably kind of just because it was stuck. And then over here, it's even green or so the corrosion. And on the back side, we see like this wire, which is blue. So that's, that's my brake my, for my brake controller and operates the brakes on the trailer. It is completely broken. So that actually is, I'm glad to see that because that explains why that wasn't working and the new plug will fix that. I'm not gonna have to get a new brake controller. So I'm gonna start pulling these screws off. Basically, you should, we should be able to loosen the screws and pull them, pull the wires out of this old plug. So now I'm going to go grab my dielectric grease and the new plug and we can start putting it back together. All right, I have a Hopkins plug that's a little bit different than the plug we removed. This Hopkins plug has the seven flat blade and the flat four. Depending on your trailer connection, I can hook either one without using a separate adapter. This plug is also a little different on the back. I and pull this apart and we'll, we'll connect our wires in here and you can see how shiny and clean it is versus the old one we just took apart. Now one of the things that I, I know this from experience, you wanna make sure to remember to put the cover on the wire first. If you don't, you'll have to take it all apart again. I did loosen off this screw that will be used later to clamp the cable. This cable has a nice, actually a nice protective cover on it so it's a little tight, which actually I like. That's a good thing because, again, we want to keep out water and junk that will cause, that will add to our corrosion in the plug. We're gonna put some dielectric grease on these as well to just help stop that corrosion from, from continuing. Now the package, this, this came with a small package of ter what they call terminal grease. It's going to be the same thing here in the shop. I just bought a big tube of dielectric grease that I, I use on a lot of different electrical connections on vehicles, trailers, trucks. As we just start to put this back together, as you can see, each of the wires has a color. You need to make sure you understand on your new plug 
where each of the wires should go. Inside, it actually has labels, little letters, to indicate which post is for which function. There's a little metal plate here. And we actually want to pull that out and slide the wire behind it and then tighten the screw nice and snug. So now I have all of the wires tightened into the terminals according to their color and which terminal is used for which connection on the trailer. Sometimes the colors are correct, sometimes they're not. These I think are correct. We have green is left turn, right is yellow, white is ground, brown is your tail marker, tail light and your marker light on the trailer. Blue is for your brake controller, your electric brakes on the trailer. And in this case, the red is an auxiliary. So if you have a battery for a dump trailer, that type of thing, you can actually charge that battery using the auxiliary power. Uh, we're gonna go ahead now and start putting this, trying to put this connector back together. And on this one, we'll find where it actually this cover kind of goes on and then we'll kind of do a little bit of a turn. You heard that click as it turned. And then we have a screw to put in, a, uh, put in here to hold it together. Thanks for watching as I've shown you how to change the plug on the back of your truck. If you like this video, send a uh, self-addressed envelope and a $50 bill and I'll send you my autograph. Actually, what would be faster is you could just hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, hit the like button if you like the video, and hope you come back next week for another one. Thanks and have a great day.